Hi again everybody, it's the History Nerd. I'm back in the man cave and this video is a follow-up to my previous video regarding whether this hat is the same kind of hat that Timothy Oliphant wore in his portrayal of Raylan Givens in the hit TV show, Justified. Now, if you've not yet seen that video, I'm gonna put a link to it in the description below. So go take a look at that one and then come on back and watch this one. If you've already seen that video, you may know that it's gotten pretty good response. If, you've to if you had told me when I made that video for just poops and giggles that uh, 45,000 of you to date would be willing to watch my fat ass sit on a leather couch and talk about a hat, I would not have believed it. But I appreciate every one of those views and all the ones that are coming after. It means a great deal to me. Many of you made comments and shared your opinions. I appreciated those too. One person in particular messaged me directly with some important information. Now this person worked in the wardrobe department of the Justified TV show and they knew definitively the information that we were looking for. They asked that I not use their name, but I did my due diligence. They sent some photos that beyond a shadow of a doubt establishes who they are and they are, are in fact legit. They are too legit to quit, in the words of MC Hammer. So what hat did Timothy Oliphant wear in Justified? Like so many things involving Hollywood, it's kind of complicated. Here's what we do know. Both Oliphant and Pasha Prouty, the costume designer for Justified, have said he wore a hat that was made for him by Baron Hats, the same company that made the hat that, uh, that Timothy Oliphant wore when he portrayed Seth Bullock in the HBO series Deadwood. Now, uh, 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 Baron Hats specializes in making hats for Hollywood movies and TV shows. They are known as Hollywood's hat makers. Uh, their office is located in Burbank, California. And if you go visit their store, uh, they have a mini Hollywood hat museum that you can tour and you can see both originals and replicas of the hats they have made for some of the famous movies and TV shows that, 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 that they've worked with. Uh, Django Unchained, they made Jamie Foxx's famous hat from Django Unchained, for example. Um, so they made the hat that Timothy Oliphant wore. Another way we know that he wore a Baron hat was in the final episode, episode 13 of season four, there's a scene where Oliphant gets in the back of an ambulance with his ex-wife and girlfriend, Winona, and takes off his hat. And inside the hat, you can see a gold line in the lining going around the top of the crown and a logo in the top of the lining in the crown. And both of those match the gold line that circles the Baron hat lining and the Baron logo. So we know that he wore the Baron hat. That hat, by the way, costs $1,100. You can order one right now on the Baron hats website, but it's going to set you back $1,100. Now, our source with the Justified uh, Wardrobe Department told us you don't just have one hat on a Hollywood set. You don't just have the one hero hat. You have a backup to that hat in case something happens to the hat. And you have a backup to the backup. Plus, on top of that, uh, Timothy Oliphant is not the only person who needs to have that hat. Uh, his double, who stands in when they're blocking scenes and deciding how to shoot the various scenes, they have to wear a hat so they look like Timothy Oliphant and the director and cameraman can, 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 can determine how best to shoot the guy wearing, wearing the hat with, with the camera in the scene. His stunt double needs a hat. When you're shooting guns and blowing stuff up and diving for, for, for cover, 
You don't want the stunt double wearing an $1,100 Baron hat. So what hat did they use? I was told that at any given time, there were at least a half dozen Stetson Carson hats on the uh, Justified set for use when shooting. Now, that, that Stetson Carson has the same uh, four and a quarter inch crown height as the Baron hat and has the same three and three quarter inch brim width as the uh, Baron hat. Main difference is, uh, plus, plus it's got the same flat brim. Uh, if, uh, if you remember, Oliphant's hat has a flat brim and that Carson hat did too. The main difference though is the Carson Stetson hat came with a corded hat band. It looks like just a nice piece of cord that somebody wrapped around the hat. Uh, to change that into the Raylan Gibbons hat, you just take off that hat band and put on the famous tooled leather hat band with the tapered end uh, and, the, and, and the metal buckles that was so familiar during the, uh, the, during the series run. Now, for those of you who are Googling right now and saying, I'm gonna go buy me a Stetson Carson, stop. They don't make it anymore. It's discontinued, or at least the one they used in the Justified show. That Carson had a cattleman crease in the top of the crown, uh, and they quit making that hat with the cattleman crease a few years ago. Now it only comes with a teardrop crease. Also, I think the hat they used in, in, in the TV show was a 4X wool hat, and the Carson Stetsons made today, I believe are all 6X beaver and rabbit fur hats. And I don't even think it comes in this, this color, this tan kind of, kind, of, kind of silver belly color. I think it only comes in brown and black. So you can't get the Stetson Carson stunt hat anymore. Which leads us to this hat, the hat that was the topic of our last video. This is the Stetson Marshall. What's the deal with the Stetson Marshall? Well, this hat actually came out a couple of years after Justified became a hit. Uh, Stetson figured out that they could make some money off the popularity of the TV show. So they made the Stetson Marshall, which looks remarkably like the Raylan Givens Baron hat. But there's, there's a major difference. This hat has a shaped brim or as the Baron hat from the TV show was a, was, what, was a flat brim hat. And rather than having a three and three quarter inch brim, this has a four inch brim. Uh, it's got a uh, tooled leather hat band, similar to the one on the Baron hat, except that one, as we mentioned, had a taper leading to the buckle, and this one does not. Um, this hat was actually sold on the official Justified TV show website um, on, the, on the FX channel website. So even Justified uh, made this hat uh, credible as a Raylan Gibbons hat. Uh, so we don't know whether Oliphant actually wore this style hat on the show or not. But as I, as I noted in that last video, we do know that this hat was at the very least used in the filming of the show. Because in that last scene of the last episode of the last season of the, uh, of the series, again, spoiler alert for a show that went off the air seven years ago, um, there is a shootout between Raylan Givens and a bad guy named Boone. Uh, Raylan's hat is shot off. There is a bullet hole in the front of the hat. Um, and you can see uh, some writing clearly on the leather hat band that says San Angelo Collection 4X. This Marshall hat is from Setson's San Angelo Collection and it's a four hat, and, 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 and it's a 4X hat. 
So we know that the Stetzer Marshal was at the very least used in the final scene of the final episode of the final season of the series. Um, so there you go, folks. Uh, that's kind of the legit history of the Justified Hat that I got directly from my source in the Justified Wardrobe Department. I very much appreciate them messaging me. Uh, they saw my video that somebody had posted on Reddit in a, in a, in a, uh, in a hat section of Reddit, and they messaged me and said, I can answer all your questions. So thank them very much for reaching out to me. Thank all of you for watching this channel. I'm going to end this video with a quote from a great American intellectual named Dewey Crow, who said, Dewey Crow's whorehouse ain't going to have no fatties running around, which really makes no sense in context of this video, but it is the kind of amusing and entertaining dialogue that may justify the show that all of us uh, love to watch uh, from week to week and still watch to this day. Now remember, the show is being revived. There's a limited series coming up called Justified City Primeval, and uh, early shots indicate that he will wear a hat similar to his Baron hat, but perhaps with a different band. Only time will tell. Uh, look, if you enjoyed this conversation and want to have more conversations like it, um, I need you to do three things for me. Hit the little thumbs up button, hit subscribe, and hit the bell so you will know when the History Nerd is back in the man cave with more stories to share along with uh, hat unboxings. We're going to do some bourbon tastings. We're going to go out in the field and visit some historic sites. Got a lot of plans for this website. So y'all uh, like, subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me. So anyway, uh, this is the last chapter in the Raylan Givens Justified Hat Saga. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, until I see you next time, I want you to uh, be well, uh, be good, uh, be happy, and goodbye.